I have gelato on my toes. And this fact creates a happiness inside of me that can only be felt in places where stone is wiser than man and fruit stand guys change lives. I am a toddler and I'm seeing the world for the first time. It is huge and terrifying and at times I miss my mama and daddy so much my chest aches. We'll walk around Spoleto and this surrounding areas kind of using the town to effectively make our own text, examining the extraordinary within the ordinary itself. Coming here and seeing some doors being completely different shapes and different colors and the, all of the doors are have their own little um, personalities really is really inspiring and kind of opens my eyes to see the way other people live in the world. The town of Spoleto is the classroom. It's the canvas, it's the library, it's the concert hall. They have a lot of freedom in a city that is extremely safe. So they can experience directly without anybody telling them how the Italians behave. It's also such like a small town where all the locals know each other and I've been going to the same cafe like two or three times a day. It's a beautiful place, uh, uh, Italy, but Spoleto specifically, and that the students have the opportunity to, to work with, with professionals, and they're in this amazing setting, uh, which makes it all the more magical, I think. It's interesting to see the subjects in the frescoes and the artwork that we do see when we here in Spoleto and when we go to other cities, but um, it's also nice to think about that these artists were once us, they were students at one point. Somewhere along the line, I, I throw the definition of good acting in that was used by Sanford Meisner, which is uh, acting is living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. So we spend a lot of time understanding Spoleto as a set of circumstances. I like to say that, you know, this is your chance to imagine yourself living a new way, exploring a new kind of being in the world. Being here really has opened up a lot of things to me, like I've immersed myself in a completely new culture. Living in a town for a bit of time, getting to see how people live. Trying to let the fact that I'm in Italy help me focus on learning. Slowing down, talking, communicating with people, and uh, really listening. You can really take a breather and relax and say, what do I need to do? What is my objective? The point is, I want them to leave Spoleto having absorbed the world around them in a way that they are not accustomed to doing. We dance to the melody of falling rain and heartbeats and it's the best song I've ever heard. Harmonies of innocence, rhythms of childhood. I have gelato on my toes, and it's sticky and creeps onto my shoe. And I have a fleeting thought of washing it off, but I stop myself because it makes me smile, having gelato between my toes.